I can finally admit I now have my dream real estate videography set up. You've scrolled through hundreds of YouTube videos to find the perfect camera setup, and I wanna share with you today what I think is the best videography setup for real estate media. Now make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'll be showcasing a video that I recently captured with the exact camera kit that I'll be talking about. Now the first piece of equipment is the Sony A7S III. In my opinion, it is hands down the best video camera for real estate media. For starters, it has a full frame 12 megapixel sensor. It is fantastic in low light with a dual base ISO. When shooting real estate videos, you don't have the luxury of shooting with fancy lights. You're often in dark environments and that is where this camera shines. When shooting in S-Log3, the base ISO is 640. But if you need more light into the sensor, you can crank this up to 12,800 and retain a clean image. It has over 14 stops of dynamic range, which allows you to expose for the interiors while keeping details in the highlights of the exterior. I love the form factor of this camera. I've considered using the smaller ZVE-1 just to keep the weight down a little bit when you're flying it on a gimbal, but I'm not willing to sacrifice any of these customizable buttons and the EVF. The EVF on this camera is amazing and it is the sole reason I use the A7S 3 over the FX3. It has a full frame sensor and can shoot 4K 60 with no crop. It also shoots 4K 120 with a 1.1 crop, but I very rarely use that frame rate. My second piece of equipment is the Sony 16-35mm 2.8G Master. In most situations, this is the only lens you will need. You can shoot wide at 16 millimeter and then shoot some tight detailed shots at 35 mil. And with the 2.8 aperture, you can get some nice blur in the background as well. I'll tend to use this lens on a lower budget shoot where I'm only allocating myself maybe an hour to shoot a house. Which brings me to the Lauer 12 mm zero distortion. I previously used the Sony G Master 14 mm and in my opinion, this lens absolutely smokes it for a few reasons. That extra two millimeters, while it doesn't sound like much, it's a lot and it can make small spaces look gigantic and it can make gigantic spaces look really big. Your footage will look smoother and making it easier for you to edit. It is a manual focus lens and I know what you're thinking. What if I miss focus? If you put this to infinity focus and shoot at F8, I can almost guarantee the room will be in focus every time. It has a solid metal construction. This is by far my favorite lens, but we need to get some detailed shots. The 35 millimeter 1.4 G Master. I'm lucky enough to own all of the G Master Primes, the 24 mil, which I'm shooting on, the 50 mil 1.4 and the 85 mil 1.4. I do find the 35 mil the most versatile. It's just such a pleasing focal length and you do have the option to use clear image zoom and zoom into 1.5 times which makes this roughly a 52 millimeter lens. It's 1.4 aperture allows you to bring in a lot of light into dark environments and create that blurry background. In most cases when shooting at 1.4, you will need an ND filter. And this is the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon series, two to five stops. I've had it for three years now and it's been foldless. Now for the gimbal. The RS3 Pro, it's so strong. If I'm not balanced correctly and I'm in a rush, it's fine, it doesn't wobble around, it stays dead straight. I'll shoot for four to five hours on this and the battery's still fine. And for my last piece of equipment, you guessed it, it's a drone. And for video, it's the Mavic 3 Pro. Where do I start with this? Well, it has three camera lenses. That main camera, the 24 millimeter micro four thirds sensor, the image out of that is outstanding, but my favorite lens is the 70 millimeter. We've all seen footage of a drone circling a property. All the footage starts to look the same, but at 70 mil, you can really change it up. And for me, with my real estate videos, I like to do a lot of location shooting. So I live around the beaches and golf courses. So using that 70 mil lens really changes the video. It also has a 166 millimeter lens. While it sounds like a gimmick, 
it's absolutely amazing. These three lenses now with the latest firmware update, they all shoot in D-Log M. So when you're color grading all three lenses, it makes color grading a lot easier. It also has some quirky features in here like most drones with the master shots, quick shots and so on. They're all shooting at 4K now. So if you're lacking a bit of creativity on the day, you can always capture a few master shots or quick shots and throw them amongst the footage as well. Let's go and watch a video that I captured with this exact kit. If you like these types of videos, be sure to watch this video here to see what's in my photography kit and be sure to subscribe.